Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wrestlemania 33 series. It's Mad Vipers and we're going to be doing the Tag Team Championship and I had to set it up a little bit different since I'm doing 2K16. So, first match will be Cesaro and Sheamus versus Luke Gall Gallows and Carl Anderson. And then the winner of that match will face off against Cass and Enzo and the winner of that match will be the WWE Tag Team Champions. So let's get started and see who wins. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a feeling this one's going to blow the roof off this place. What an incredible tag team match this is going to be. There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he going to do next? Sheamus, what's the story for him right now? Well, let's get your thoughts here on Sheamus. I like the pairing, Michael. These two work so well together as a team. Definitely looking good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. And into the and it's off. He got the shoulder up. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Sometimes the best offense is a great defense, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. And now he's back out of the apron. Well, Cesaro is so gifted at punishing opponents, he has perfected two finishing moves. First, the Carl Gotch-inspired neutralizer, which is a cradle pile driver that turns into a face buster. And second, his renowned Cesaro swing, where he lifts his opponent by the legs and spins him in the air, revolution after revolution. Yeah. Just look at this. Look at this hang time. Oh. Incredible. Boy, he just got laid out. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. Look at this. He's in full control of this one. Well, we're on the move here. Oh, out of nowhere. Can't just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Michael, before you mentioned both of Cesaro's finishing moves, and you're right, that's a gift. Normally, a performer perfects one finisher. You can tell when Cesaro plants an opponent with the neutralizer or lifts his foe for the Cesaro swing. There is no wasted movement. Oh, man. Cutting off circulation to the brain. You could pass out from a hold like that. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hold now before his opponent could counter it. Oh, wait, nice reverse. He's got him. This could be huge. Really going to work here. Just wrenching that thing. Thanks for tuning in. We're coming to you tonight from Santa Clara, the site of WrestleMania 31. He gets the tag. He's in bad shape. He's got to make the tag. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. High risk. Oh, man, from the horrendous track. I wouldn't know what that's like. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, that can't feel good. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy.
Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any bigger than this. The match under the bright lights of WrestleMania. He's inflicting some serious pain here. And he zeroes in on the back of his head. Wait, is he still conscious? Man, that looked bad. Not going to win many matches with that move. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. What intensity. Sheamus endures the rigors of the ring and getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. He makes the tag. I like what I'm seeing here from Cesaro. Oh, man, what a shot. Oh, out of nowhere. He makes the tag. Quick thinking to avoid that. Dropped. And this heartless attack continues. Oh man, this is getting tough to watch. Oh wait, nice reversal. And Cesaro starting to really turn things up here. When you're as powerful and innovative as Cesaro, you can turn it up in there as easy as a regular person walking into their living room and flipping the light switch. Here's the cover. The tag is made. Oh, out of nowhere. This may settle the score. A monumental move by Cesaro. He's setting it up. This could end it in a hurry. Neutralizer. Cesaro's gonna put an end to tonight's festivities right now. Well, don't jump to conclusions here, Cole. It's not over. Finisher. This match might be over. Going for the cover. One, two. Oh, man, that's gotta hurt. Sheamus comes in off the tag. A systematic attack here. Another great night of action here tonight as WWE comes to you from the great city of Santa Clara. That's it. He's out. Stay down. Stay down. Hicks. Oh, man. There's that devastating boot from Sheamus. He's seen it up. Here he comes. There you have it, folks. Sheamus and Cesaro will move on to face Enzo and Cass in the next match for the WWE Tag the Team Championship. Wow, what a great match. All the way back and forth action. As you see, Carl Anderson getting that counter back in on Cesaro. Going for the pin. The match of the year. But there it is, Cesaro taking out. Carl Anderson and then pinning Luke Gallows, well, but then he kicks. But Sheamus comes in like a beast, kicking Luke Gallows out of it and wins. All right, everybody, so this is it. Cesaro and Sheamus will face off against Colin Cassidy and Big Cass and Enzo Amari for the Tag Team Championships. This is going to be a good one, and I can't wait to see who comes out as the champ. Let's go. Wow, this amazing crowd is in for one hell of a match. Sheamus has spent most of his time as a singles competitor here in WWE, but if this team remains together, they're going to be WWE Tag Team Championship contenders very quickly.
If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. Give us your thoughts about Colin Cassidy. Here's somebody who can do it all, whether it's in solo competition or as part of a team, which we're seeing here tonight. Delivering the powerful axe handle. Ow! And he finally gets out of the ring. Colin Cassidy doing a great job of turning that around. I don't know what size Colin Cassidy's shoes are, but I can tell you that when he delivers his big boot, that darn thing covers his opponent's entire face. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. No blood loss between these two. And he gets into the ropes. What an offensive show by Cesaro. Going for the cover. And we're back to this form of attack. Yes, we are. The same form of attack we've seen before. Big Cass's boot is undoubtedly impressive, as is his elbow drop, which seemingly comes from the ceiling. He's so tall. Yeah, you want to... The shoulder! And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. There's some more left in Enzo tonight. Uh-oh, what's this? Cesaro in trouble! It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. Oh, well, you're right. Big fight feel here, no doubt. Watch out. And here comes Enzo Amore. Too much. Cesaro possesses one of the most versatile and devastating offensive arsenals I've ever seen. He crushes opponents with his stun gun, double stomp, power bomb, hanging gut wrench suplex, the hangman's clutch, and a brutal headbutt that could crack someone's skull. And that dropped Enzo Amore. That's called being driven straight down to the canvas. What power. No kidding. That was an awesome slam. This is dangerous. And a devastating breaker. Oh, you're not kidding. That could be it. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Michael, you brought up Cesaro's forms of attack, and I have to say that in more than 40 years in this business, I've never seen anything like it. Cesaro has a suplex where he stands on the middle rope lifts his opponents in the air from the apron and suplexes him into the ring. It redefines the term superplex. No! Well, what's he going to do to follow that up? He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. And now it is show-off time. Well, don't waste time gloating here. With the tag is Colin Cassidy. And the knuckles connect. Colin Cassidy has fire in his eyes now. Sheamus turns it around. <laughs> For a big guy, Sheamus sure is sneaky. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to see Colin Cassidy live and in person. He's like He's a true with the legs. He's got to be nearly seven feet tall. Yeah, and you can't teach that, Cole. At least that's what Enzo Amore likes to say. Not today. Too fast. Look at this. Could it be? Sheamus hit that one. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Whoa! Don't get up. Not this. There it is. The high cross. I love that move, Cole. There's the finish.
submission move. He's got it down. Cole, is this it? it could, they're still alive. Yeah, Cole, you remember that song back in the day? Staying alive? Well, that was it in WWE terms. Aside from his overwhelming height, Colin Cassidy also brings shoulders down. Champions. Wow, there's the save. The match continues. Championship matches, the title cannot change hands by count out or disqualification. Can he score the pin? Two. Colin Cassidy, no problem getting out of that one. This guy can go toe to toe with anybody. The damage has been done. Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. There's the switch. And now he's back out on the apron. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Colin Cassidy, no problem getting out of that one. A ferocious clothesline. Just devastating. And there's Enzo Amore in off the tag. There's definitely facial damage. I just wonder if anything's broken. Yeah, he's going to have a Roman nose. He's going to roam all over his face. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live. Just like we are here tonight, this is wonderful. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. When this guy's on, look out. Is this it? Cesaro hits the jackpot with a huge move. There's some serious power right there. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. guys could have amazing singles careers but instead they're choosing to focus their efforts on the tag team championship i think that speaks volumes to the state of the tag division right now we might be seeing the beginning of the end oh my god face first what a maneuver what a finishing move this could be it right here it's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power quickly into the cup with a title a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Through dirty tactics, Cesaro and Sheamus take the win at WrestleMania and become WWE Tag Team Champions. Wow. All right, so... Oh, wow. Um, we're going to move on to the next match. And uh, so stay tuned. We're going to be uh, taking a few breaks here with the uh, upcoming WWE videos. But, yeah, it's going to be getting really good and interesting coming up. The main events are coming. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.